JJ Jinx, Truck Stop Knives. So, a few months back, I did an, a Bud K unboxing, and of course, in the box was one of the Bud K catalogs. And uh, I got a message from someone living in Scotland. I said, hey, we don't get Bud K over here. I'm kind of curious what's in that catalog. And um, so I made a really long video where I went through the entire thing. And it was really fun and interesting. Um, so it's been a while. The Bud K catalog should have some new stuff in it. And so I saved this catalog. I haven't looked in it. It's the summer edition. So I'm going to do a bunch of videos where we go through catalogs. Bud K will be one of them. In addition, I have here with me a Smoky Mountain Knife Works catalog. We'll go through that. In addition, um, and I've never gotten one of these before. <laughs> this is a things you never knew existed catalog. I don't know why I got it, but we'll have a look. And finally, a some kind of military surplus catalog. I've never gotten one of these before. I think I got one of the things you never knew existed one before, but um, well, it's the Sportsman Guide to Military Surplus Tactical and Survival Gear, whatever. We'll go through it, and um, it's going to be a lot of videos, and I'll probably have to chop them up, but I hope you enjoy. This is the free shipping catalog. <laughs> no minimum order. No, actually, it's the Sportsman Guide Military Surplus Tactical and Survival Gear. I've never heard of these people. I literally got this catalog like a couple of days after I decided to make these videos and I was like, okay, I'll do this one too. I don't know why I have this, but they sent one to me for some reason. And right on the cover, you can get boots and a tent, $225, wow. But I guess it's like military grade for what that's worth. Uh, let's just jump right in. Here you got some level, damn, that's like a level four backpack right there. More stuff about like free shipping and blah, blah, blah. Join our club, get savings. Here's a funky looking, what is this? Used Hungarian military shelter half poncho. Okay. U.S. military surplus tent poles, if you need those. What is this? Used British military surplus a camo tent. That just looks like a mess. <laughs> oh, I get it. They're covering up this. It's like netting with camo stuff on it. That's pretty cool. Oh my god, $80. Never mind. Oh, it's a, an optics case. Um, it's probably just the case. I doubt it comes with that spotter thing. Anyway. Next, we have used British military surplus. It's a flak vest for $71. Um, you can buy this guy for $5 and change. Um, looks like a field... No, it's just forceps in a bag, so it's probably sterile. Uh, Swiss military canteens with cups. That stuff's kind of neat. Uh, NATO military surplus jerry cans with nozzle and adapter. So jerry cans. Some black boots. A shirt you can get in all kinds of different colors, so you can get lost in the woods. No one can find you ever. Uh, some boot socks and a belt. Hungarian military. It's used, just arrived, infantry service belt. A lot of Hungarian stuff, I've noticed. Pre Reproduction U.S. Army Mil World War II M42 Jungle Fatigues. Wife beater. Bag. Used British military surplus. Osprey medical pouch. Duffel bag locks. Whatever that is. Waterproof ammo cans. A lot of people get these whole various things. They're pretty cool. They're not that expensive though. Between $13 and $23 if you're a member. Cool. Um, here's like a tray. A cafeteria tray. <laughs> Another level. That's a level four backpack for sure. Uh, what the fuck is this? A, sir, a contractor issue flame retardant reflective vest. Complete with matching pants. And what is this? A water bladder. 
Okay, so it's a bag. Put water in it. Over here we have. Give you a little more of a. There we go. Oh, okay. This is one of those um, Camelback things. Uh, a hydration system. Not a bad price either. Forty bucks. Used Italian military surplus glass wine carafes. Oh, the Italians. <laughs> Uh, a shoulder bag, wooden tent sticks from the Danes. What is that? It's a tent frame cover. And, ooh, what is this? And it's just a hammer. It's a big wood hammer from the Dutch. A German military shirt, ignition timing light. I don't know what that is. Uh, some tape. For rendering things unserviceable. That's random. And these are sandbags and canvas straps. There's a lot of really random stuff in here. I'm gonna try to go a little faster unless I find something really interesting. Just more clothes, a sharp or a fire starter thing, canteen, plastic boxes, <laughs> a gas mask, uh, some knives. Looks like you get all of these for $22 and they're made by Schrade. Is it all of them? Or each? I don't care. Some green tube things? What are these? Ribbon tubes. A blue jacket. Pants. Okay. Here we got a paratrooper weapons case. That's kind of neat. Uh, another gas mask. Oh my. Like new, is that used? <laughs> British military surplus blast shorts with Kevlar. <laughs> what the fuck? Is it to like protect your balls? I mean, I, I, obviously it is. I like how he's wearing this like white thing. Just just wear the just wear the uh, blast shorts on their own. That would be great. Um, a gas mask filter, some uh, machetes. You can get a fucking rocket launcher, Jesus. A PA-116, oh, it's a storage container? Oh, no, sure it is. Uh, camo jacket, uh, that's an Italian military one. This looks like a gun cleaning kit. Some paintbrushes? Surplus hog bristle brushes, yes they are. And here we have uh, what they're calling fleck tarn pants. I don't know what that means. Here's a big bag thing that you can sling over your shoulder. Here's a handsome, you know, dapper looking overcoat. That's German army surplus. Here's uh, some ropes, tent ropes. Uh, tool roll, also Danish. And a German waterproof tarp. Some hoodies, I guess. Uh, some uh, level one, level two backpacks, maybe. Packing, pack, packs, or packs. Used military surplus M65 jacket, and what is that black thing? It's a training knife. <laughs> Interesting. And a hat, more pants, uh, what's this? Just a leather pouch. So yeah, this is just random surplus crap. Clothing, bags. Ooh, this looks neat. Is that a, a map? Yeah, it's a map case. I like that. Trench tool. Um, I'm sorry, that is a World War One vehicle shovel. There's a sailor's outfit for when they want to do some role play. A uh, cotton blanket, a canteen. That's a Chinese military canteen. And a decorative cord. Over here, you've got a like new Italian military surplus steel helmet, the M33. That's cool. There's a white holster thing there. That's pretty neat. Italian Alpine Medic badges, if you want that. Here's a goofy looking armor vest. No, I guess it's an armor vest. It's what it's supposed to look like. Military surplus 58 gallon shipping drum. All right. The Smith & Wesson knives. Uh, it's like a boot knife. Uh, uh, here's a robe. <laughs> Italian military surplus marine 
cotton robe. Didn't know those existed. These look like uh, ammo pouches. A Swiss blanket. A reproduction of uh, World War II service boots. Here are some uh, surplus shoulder cross straps. And a white pouch and uh, weapon oil. Duffel bag, pants. Really? 20 pack of new Dutch military style cotton briefs. <laughs> those ain't briefs, those are granny panties. Uh, what is this thing? A galvanized double hook turnbuckle. You can get anything you want here. Oh, this is cool. A West German military surplus first aid bag. I like that. Over here. Ooh. A field phone. I wonder if you could actually get that to work. Like, could you hook it up to your Wi Fi and do Wi Fi calling with it? That'd be neat. Um, it's from the Cold War era. That's cool. Socks, sweater, sunglasses. Uh, what am I looking at here? LED lights. Um, it's just a super bright, super bright light. These look like uh, batons and a tactical pen and a door stop alarms. I don't think these are military grade. <laughs> Over here we have pepper spray, uh, flashlight, stun gun, batons, uh, noise makers, and bullets and bullets and more bullets. More bullets, more bullets. Ooh, look at this. This is um, a two times red dot, hollow. This is all PUBG stuff. Here's your, uh, I guess that would be kind of a, a four times, three times, another red dot, and another hollow. More scopes. Here's your eight times. <coughs> Monoculars and binoculars. I'm just trying to get through this. Ooh, a vortex diamondback angled. Okay, it's just a it's a spotting scope. And some tactical cameras. What is this? A razor mounted walkie talkie. Hmm. Whatever. Some glasses. And what are these? Bullets that have lasers coming out of them? Adjust your sight and scope without firing a single round. Oh, that's cool. Hey. Shoot a laser out of your gun. <laughs> and more, more lasers. Um, old school uh, holsters with bullet loops. More holsters. An armor, armorer's master kit. And a Tipton Ultra Gun Vice. Okay, that's for uh, holding your gun really, really still so you can zero it very, very well. Ammo crates and cases and things. There's a lot of neat stuff in here. Gun parts. So here you have like a heat guard, I guess, and some other iron types of iron sights and parts and things. I kind of wonder, what was a vertical foregrip? If you could like actually build a gun by buying all the different parts and things from various places and then just like slapping it all together. I guess if you could do that, everyone would be doing it. Not that I would want to. Here's some uh, magazines. So extended sniper mag, extended quick draw AR, extended mag AR. We got any uh, SMG ones? Yeah, well, up here you got the SMG. This is all. PUBG references. There's a, a mutant. Uh, I guess that would be the SLR. <laughs> Some watches and dog tag style compasses and more glasses and goggles and watches and goggles and tents. Okay, so a 10 by 12 foot canvas wall tent. Lightweight and sturdy interior. Frame sets up easy. Wow, look at all that space. That's cool. 
And then you got these like pyramidal type ones, or maybe they're in, like they're like a cone. Huh. Maybe you can make a tent out of your truck, or off the back of your truck, or off the back of your Jeep. Oh, didn't we see one of these in another catalog? This is like that tent that like pops up instantly. What catalog was that? Was that Bud K? I don't remember. Okay, here we have some cots. This guy's relaxing, reading some porn, and this guy's watching porn on his phone. Some sleeping bags, chairs. Uh, I can get a dog for thirty-six dollars and eighty-nine cents. Coolers, really expensive coolers. Who makes these? Guide gear. Never heard of them. But then again, I'm not really on a mar the market for coolers, so. Dry bags. It's military surplus stuff, you know. Oh, I've seen these before. The life straw. It's basically a carbon filter that you suck water through. Um, I wonder if they work. Maybe I can do a test at work in my lab to see if it really cleans up the water. Instant food. Supply packs. MRE entrees. What is this? Stackable water brick water storage container. Oh, okay. So they stack up on each other. That's cool. Um, global emergency gear water filter kit works with any water source. So it's a water filter kit. And here we have camp stoves, propane lanterns, and skillets, and uh, ah, Dutch military surplus, the butterfly canteen cups that you see in the movies all the time. And this is a fire starter. What do we got here? A trauma first aid kit. First aid surgical kit. Hopefully it comes with instructions. Um, clotting sponge. So this is like first aid stuff. Uh, insect repeller. Insect repellent. Radios. So you can stay connected virtually anywhere. Multi-band portable weather. Oh, they're weather radios. And a fire starter. And a spool of paracord for 13 bucks. <coughs> so if you're into arts and crafts with those things, there you go. A compass and uh, one of these. A snare pack. Well, that would be that, that would be useful because I have no idea how to make a snare. I know what they are and can, in concept I know how they work, but it's about you know place in terms of placement and stuff like that. It'd be nice, nice to have a set of instructions and all the things pre-made for you. Clothing. So you get uh, different sayings, foobar and such on your T-shirt. Uh, different patterns. These are waterproof uh, rain suits. Here we got some level 2 backpacks. Molly packs. Um, military tool transport grades. It says military grade, so it's yeah. Well, that's kind of cool. It's like a tool belt thing. Here we have some level 3 backpacks. Uh, some vests with oh god, look at this guy. He's just ready to go. Um, packs a pistol in fine fashion. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, flag hats. Wow, that, that's a huge duffel bag. What is this? Military style field and range bag. So I guess it's for like ammo and gun parts maybe. Level 3 backpack. Uh, some ponchos. And some... Patriotic shirts. Quarter form. Reebok. Reebok makes military boots? Huh. Well, that's cool. I don't know anything about military boots, uh, so I won't really comment about them then. Restricted items. Oh, uh, this is just a disclaimer about restricted items, actually. What does it say? Gas and diesel powered items. Once gassed or oiled, cannot be returned. Okay. Just, just, yeah. More boots. 
These are five star rated HQ issue. Beautiful. Any color you want. Rocky. Uh, Alpha Force. These sound like bad 80s movies with Chuck Norris. Um, Danner. Never. I don't. I just don't know anything about boots. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm gonna go. More boots. Uh, this one looks kind of cool. It's like a grill pattern, made by Under Armour. I know that brand. More Under Armour and Bates. Okay. Over here we have a military surplus frag grenade pouches. That's pretty neat. And I have a defused fragmentation grenade. Now I can get the pouch for thirteen dollars and change. Some gloves, a holster, a vest made of real gorilla chest. A bandolier. It's a military surplus rifleman's chest rig. So it's Chinese. 36 feet of actual paracord. Some magazine pouches, ammo can. A shirt, a flyer kit bag. Some shovels, uh, straps for your wood. <laughs> and a military surplus stainless steel mess kit. Clothes. Some kind of strap or a belt and a gas mask and a flashlight. Random stuff on these pages. I guess they just kind of had to put them somewhere. Here's a military surplus shoulder bag. That's kind of cool. Another one of those water bladders. Here we have some Finnish rubber goggles. East German tent sticks. Uh, used. Italian military surplus pocket life on sale for $10 and chained. It looks very used. It's like rusted in this picture. A big duffel bag, another gas mask, socks, a whole pyramid of them, a brown shirt. I remember getting shirts like this when I was in ROTC. And pants and a bag and a mattress cover. <laughs> Just throw that in there. Uh, what's this? Tactical Threat Type 3 Armor Steel Plate. So you can make anything bulletproof. Over here we have a plate carrying pouch for your plates. Uh, this is a used Frobis M9 bayonet with sheath. $107, good lord. Um, what is this? That's uh, a holster. The Belgian military. Here's a Czech military. Rubberized backpacks. Uh, here is a fireman's rigor belt. I like new Italian military surplus firefighter descendery pulley. Fireman's hat. Gloves. And an axe. German surplus police magazine pouches. Some suspenders. Um, a butter dish. Used German military surplus butter dish. Huh. And more suspenders or something. And, uh, what? A police surplus, a pistol lanyard. Looks like a corded phone. Okay. Here we have a gun cleaning kit. Another holster. Another fatigues jacket. Uh, a cotton sleeve shirt from the Italians. And another duffel bag. All right, over here we have fabric tape. I guess to fix your tears in the fabric, uh, I guess. Uh, a surplus pistol sling. Here's a surplus, uh, this one's Italian as well. Uh, flyers kit bag with chain closure. Here's an old rusted shovel. And here is a hatchet. And here is a US military surplus pistol belt. Uh, measuring tape? Yeah. Italian surplus measuring tape. Uh, Air Force high visibility vest, pants, and a Czech military surplus flotation vest. A pickaxe. German. <laughs> oh, 
I guess they're calling it a Matok. Um, U.S. military surplus mag and ammo bags. So these are just plastic bags. That's all right. Some shiny shoes from the Czech military, along with a whole pile of Kiwi uh, brown shoe polish. <laughs> Lifetime supply. Uh, British brown shirt and a German surplus parachute bag. Over here you've got a British, uh, that's a bag for a gas mask. And here's a Czechoslovakian uh, CM4 gas mask. These are more gun cleanings. Oh no, these are drill bits. Drill bits? Like new Italian military surplus drill bits. <laughs> All right, another holster, another wife beater, and uh, an axe with a glove uh, underneath it. A used German military, so this is a German Victorinox uh, Trekker. A U.S. wool blanket. Uh, six magazine bandolier and a leather map bag, Czechoslovakian. Only $15 for members. That's pretty cool. I like that. Here's a big ladle. <laughs> Italian military surplus extra large ladle. That's funny. What do we have up here? Compact, razor sharp survival. Well, that's just a cutting tool. Another gas mask. This one's a. Uh, Italian. Here's a Fox tactical boot knife with one of those uh, Smith sharpener. Smiths. I don't know if they made it. They're not very good. <coughs> and we have pants and a belt and pouch set. Um, okay. Here we have a giant self closing laundry bag from the US military. Here's a German military leather belt. What is this? Newport Naval Base mess tray. That's pretty. Uh, uh, excuse me, Italian military style, 2.5 liter. Uh, it's another hydration pack. Jammies. A fruit bowl. <laughs> what the fuck? Used Dutch military surplus stainless steel serving bowl. Uh, I love it. What do we got here? Airborne pre-production, or sorry, reproduction M42 paratrooper jacket. That's some, a lot of glory to steal there. Uh, dog tags, more underwear. This time it's Spanish, so yeah, whatever. Uh, U.S. municipal surplus duffel bag. Here we got a big um, surplus waterproof food grade 58 gallon barrel so you can store a bunch of food in there if you want I guess some rubbery gloves chemical gloves from the Dutch an ammo can a nylon thread uh, a black hawk strike utility pouch with speed clips I don't know what that is like new French military surplus double magazine pouches some more Canteens with used covers. I actually have one. Uh, I would dig it out, but I don't want to. Here's a dapper looking fire retardant jacket from the Brits. Here's one of those little tiny locks from the Italian military. And here's a generic knife. A Fury 247 tactical 5 inch firmament folding knife. Exclusive pants and a oh this is a cool looking crate a used danish military surplus wood 762 by 39 ammo crate uh, up here this looks like some kind of a mattress a mattress pad set from the checks these are flashlights three color flashlights from the checks uh or i guess you would say the slovox i don't know uh german military shirt Two-pack used Dutch military surplus serving dishes. Browning branded uh, black label Wehangi Warncliffe folding knife. Wehangi. This specialized Warncliffe blade is 
is particularly useful for rescue operations. Easily cuts away rope. What is wah wahangi? I'm gonna look that up later. Um, it's made with eight CR thirteen MOV. One of my knives that I, I carried with me for like two years is made out of that same steel. I think it's pretty good. It's not that expensive. Um, it does wear moderately easily, but it's also easy to sharpen. And, and it's got G10 scales. Uh, here we have a periscope from the Hungarians, a shirt, gloves, and a level two vest. That concludes the uh, free shipping <laughs> catalog. Here we have a helmet from the Serbian military, a German military surplus pocket knife, okay, last but not least, a Wolf WPA, so these are, these are bullets, 223 full metal jackets. Well, that was interesting. I'm, I'm glad that whoever sent this to me did. Um, I don't know how I got on their list, but there's some interesting stuff in here, and I, I actually saw a couple things that I liked, and I was like, you know, this, this is pretty cool. It's too much money for me. I saw some, like, those uh, map pouches I really liked. Yeah. Anyway, so that was that. JJ Jinx, truck stop. Nice.